Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock, and I'd better clear away my Christmas decorations with a package from Bricklink.com. <coughs> Alright, so I'm really looking forward to this haul. I think it'll be a really good one because, uh, after all, I know what's in it, or what should be in it, and um, there's all sorts of wonderful pieces for projects and quite a few interesting pieces that I haven't had before as well, so... See if I tip out this in a mountain of bags. Oh, there's a big one. There's another big one. And lots and lots and lots of little ones. No paperwork. Get rid of the box. Fantastic. Right, so I'll put that over there and start with this loose train base. So that is one that I've used a couple of times before uh, to make my, um, what is it? The mail car for my white train 60051 and the uh, observation car as well. I've also used one for the double-decker car on my Patreon train, 60197. So uh, this is really useful. I haven't actually decided what I'm going to use this one for, but this store had one, and like usual, uh, whenever they've got bits that I could use at a good price, I tend to uh, buy them for the future, really. So this one, uh, I'll do another train carriage, no doubt. And I don't know which one I'll do it for. Maybe the Patreon train, just so it's got two as well. Uh, and I might use this even for the secret base that I've got planned to put on one of my trains. Uh, I mean, I was going to do it on the white train, but maybe I'll do it on the blue one, uh, blue and yellow. So there we go. Um, I often get a lot of questions about these train bases because you can't buy them new anymore. Uh, there's two part numbers, 2972 and 87058. One's four digit, one's five digit. And this one's clearly a 2972 one. Uh, and they're just very slightly different. I think it's these two sort of half studs here and uh, the tubing on the bottom. Anyway, so that's that. Better speed this up or we're going to be here all day. Uh, loads of big ugly rock pieces. Though the catalogue calls these ones MURPS, M-U-R-P, for medium ugly rock piece. Uh, and that's weird because this is pretty much the biggest one, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh, but I call them corner burps because um, that's more fun. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five of those. And that wasn't the reason I came to this store either. But I'm going to need loads of those uh, for my under the sea. And probably now around near the mine that we've decided to build. Um, albeit it might be after the uh, fairground. But you can see just with these, you can start building a mountainside incredibly quickly. Um, and just sort of fill in the gaps with a bit more detail. So that's what they're for. Really, really good pieces. Uh, then we've got some snap pieces in green. These are lovely. Now, these are the pieces that I've actually used in red to make my uh, monorail bridge for my tram system. And I've done them in two pairs, kind of like that. Uh, but these I thought I'd use in a different way. And I just really liked them last time. So I thought I'll get some more and maybe be able to use them for something completely different. So I'm not going to make a bridge out of them and I've only got two anyway, but I thought I might be able to use a pair of them kind of like that, maybe to make a crane or something like that, you know, with the crane bit sort of hanging off there, uh, and this being the sort of main support, or maybe that would work even better upside down, I don't know. Uh, or it could be something sunken in my undersea scene, or I don't really know yet. Uh, it could even be nice sort of decoration to the outside of a building. You think about the sort of side of a building kind of looking like that, could be really interesting as well. So anyway, lovely pieces. I love that curve uh, and a really nice green colour. So I think that'll brighten up wherever they go. In fact, having them overlapping like that looks pretty good as well, actually. Yeah. So two of those. They've actually come on quite a few sets over the years. But uh, one of the ones that uh, where they come in green is set 3552 Hover Sub from 1998. So moving on, here's some minifigures. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the obligatory hair. Fantastic. Thanks for that. Uh, here's a wonderful uh, Atlantis figure. So this one, it's got the lovely Atlantis logo on there, is a shark warrior. And I've already got the hammerhead shark warrior and the, um, what was it, the manta ray warrior. And this one's good as well. They did say it had a bit of wear on the teeth. Though, to be honest, I can barely tell. So that's good. He was only a pound. 
So very happy to have him. He does kind of look like he's kind of looking directly up, if you ask me. So he's not really my favourite one of those. But for a pound, you can't really argue. And maybe I'll have him swimming or something like that. Uh, and then the angle of his head looks a lot better, actually, doesn't it? So that's really cool. Like him. Very good. Uh, then this one is a character called Cardio Carry, who's from the Lego movie uh, way back in 2014. Seems like a long time ago now. Uh, part of the Ice Cream Machine set, 70804. Yeah, so I like her. I've got her before, but I just love the sort of Walkman, uh, or iPod probably would call it now, wouldn't we? <laughs> I'm showing my age there. Uh, and this sort of uh, training suit and headband and all the rest of it. I think she's got two sides. Yeah, so that's a really good side of head as well for use somewhere else. So I'll probably just use her for parts or just have several people jogging around my city. That'll be good. Oh, by the way, this guy came in all sorts of sets, including 8060 Typhoon Turbo Sub, which is a pretty cool submarine, I must say, like a pod racer, really, isn't it? Yeah, so that's a really good set. Um, then, oh yeah, I've bought lots of short legs, because I don't actually have that many. So sometimes when I try and do a scene, uh, I haven't got that many. So these ones are dark red with kind of grey boots on. I've got to say, I don't actually remember buying those. I'm not sure that's actually ones I bought. Legs for Rocket Raccoon. No, I don't remember buying them at all. Um, but there'll be some more. Shall I look for them? Yeah, there's some more ones. Um, so I might have got the wrong ones there, but I'll take them. Some orange ones with short trousers. Very nice. Uh, what else have I got? Short trousers, short trousers. There's some. Oh, there's some. And there's some. Go all in separate bags. So these ones are light blue ones with kind of, I don't know what you, well, it's kind of shoes on, I suppose, but maybe they're sort of sandaly type shoes. These ones are from the Series 18 Birthday Party Girl. And these ones are from the Series 18 Birthday Party Boy. These dark blue ones with shoes on. So they're extra nice. Have those, use those in a scene somewhere. I've already got those minifigures, of course. What's this one? Random plates, probably from underneath the sea, but maybe also my... Uh, Fairground, actually, because this is the colour, dark tan, that I use for all of the paths, or will be using for all of the paths. So if I need a sort of semicircular bit, I can use those. Some minifigure bits here. Just the legs for the goblin. I never actually had those, so I've got them now. That's the Series 13 goblin. So that's just filling in a little thing from my wanted list from a long time ago. And this is a rather lovely face, isn't it? And one that you don't often see, really, not because it's that rare, um, but just because it's from the Series 14 Monster Scientist. Uh, and it's quite hard to recognise because he usually has a great big uh, sort of 3D headpiece that hides half of this beautiful face with a wonderful smile and a big tash and kind of wrinkles on his head. So I'll put that one somewhere a lot more prominent, I think. Then more super secret police for the police modular when it arrives. So this is one with a printed helmet and a printed sort of vest which says super secret police on the back so that's my favorite one to get because it actually says the name of them just think that's hilarious so if you haven't seen my uh hauls on me get some of these before i'm going to take away all the robot pieces and these silver hands and so on and replace them with regular yellow ones and i do believe i've got another one of these somewhere though no no can't see it oh well that might come up later I hope I do, otherwise he's missed something. Another head. This one's a Ninjago head, just liked it. Like the expression, sort of determined look, but with an eye patch. That's from a character called Captain Soto from 70591. Cryptarium Prison Breakout. That doesn't mean much to me. Maybe it does to you. You seem ever so spaced out in that uh, picture. Just a lot of blank table. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to make the set look a bit bigger than it really is. So here's some interested, interesting printed pieces. This one says holding cell and it's possibly one of the most disgustingly dirty pieces that I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at that. That is pretty horrible. Isn't it? Oh, dear me. Right. So that is from um, the Batcave from 2012, 6860 and maybe going in the bin. Uh, this is kind of a ski rental type sticker on a two by four dark blue tile. 
and that's from a friend's set, 41324, Snow Resort Ski Lift from 2017. It's on that rental bit at the bottom. But I like that. I might add that to my uh, winter sports store. I'm not entirely sure. It wasn't that expensive, but it would make sense there. It might be the purchase price rather than the rental price if it's in my city. Uh, some more stickered pieces or decorated pieces. So I've got two of these computer screens. I just got these because they're a bit different. And uh, one of them is going to need correcting using my patented hot tea technique. Just because uh, they're <laughs> opposite ways up. Uh, but they were actually part of the Scarecrow special delivery set. 70910. Uh, yeah, get it right. So there we are. There's two of those. Just a bit different. I've already got one of those actually in the uh, kind of... Uh, delivery point thing. I've used it as part of my harbour actually. So I've got a security guard there sort of just guarding the long pier that goes all the way to uh, Dr Inferno's evil lair. Uh, and this is a minifigure I haven't seen before. It's called Freestyle Timmy. So he's got a sort of Timmy face with a sort of button nose and a uh, torso that says Freestyle. Uh, and that's from quite a long time ago, back in 1998. He was part of a poly bag, amongst other things. Quite a few sets, actually. I think it was about five. Uh, so that was 4254, freestyle poly bag. Uh, but he was a pound 25. And I thought I'd get one. Just really quite like the uh, torso, actually. A bit different. Could be a brand in my city or something like that. So there we go. I started collecting a lot of... Oh, trans neon pieces. Golly, I can't get in that one. There we go. Um, for my under sea when I finally get there. But we're doing the fairground first, don't worry. So lots of dish pieces in trans neon orange. Also for under the sea, more of those lime kind of dinosaur tails for, I don't know, seaweed, sea kelp, something like that. Then I should have two of these panels, I think. Which are kind of icy panels. They'll be for my Arctic scene. Let me see if I can find the other one there. There we go. So these are from a bat cave, but not the same bat cave as that sign, the really dirty one. These are actually from the uh, 7783 bat cave from 2006 um, with the penguin and Mr. Freeze invasion. And obviously these come from Mr. Freeze and he's kind of frozen somebody in a block of ice because you can let's stick Timmy in. You can kind of freeze somebody in between two of these quite easily. Uh, and I'll probably do that with that um, sort of ice yeti type monster or something like that when I do my uh, Arctic scene, because I think that'll be fun. More Bionicle bits for Under the Sea. Two in dark red. You've seen these a few times now, I think. And they're just uh, kind of a bit organic looking. Sort of think about those sort of hanging off some rocks or something. I think they'll look good. And I think I've got some more. Yes, I did. In dark blue. Great big bag of them, though. So I think I've probably got enough now. I've just taken out half my minifigures. Loads of those as well. So I just think they're really nice deep colours for sort of some background vegetation. You can imagine them sort of being perched on this rock all the way up. I think it'll look absolutely great. Oh, another rock piece. This is actually from a Knight's Kingdom set, and it's just got this kind of, it's kind of pearl grey actually, rather than light bluish grey at the top, but it's got this lovely sort of green staining. I've used these before all around the sort of uh, rocks underneath my bridges, because I think it's all uh, kind of, uh, you know, like moss, not moss, but kind of sea slime and seaweed and stuff like that all over it. So I think it'll look really good. Uh, probably, I'll probably use that in my city actually, just to continue that maybe nearer the sort of Coast Guard, which will be sort of just past the bridges. So that's really good. That's been in a few sets, including 8822 Gargoyle Bridge, which has got wonderful gargoyles on the uh, end there and some massive axes that look rather cool as well. So that's a pretty cool set. Other big pieces include another pair of these cement mixer pieces. Now I've used these, as you probably know, for my motorized uh, cargo wagon uh, and it spins kind of like that as the train goes along. And I just saw these and they were 30p. So I haven't really got a plan for them. Uh, they look actually in better condition, well, apart from that tiny bit there. I might be able to fix that. They look in better condition and there uh, than my original two. So I might even swap them over once I've uh, fixed the stickers. But yeah, they're looking pretty good. Or I could use it as part of a building site 
or I don't know what, all sorts of things really, couldn't I? So it's good to get a pair of those, especially for so cheap. Another minifigure. Now, just recently, I've been collecting more aliens, and I still don't have a reason for why I'm collecting all of these aliens uh, or anywhere to put them. <laughs> I mean, I've got loads of aliens from the uh, Alien Conquest line in my city, and I'm using those. But I haven't got this guy, who's called Squidtron, or Squidman. Squidman, I think, uh, from the Space Police 3. He was in two sets, including 5980, Squidman's Pit Stop from 2009. And the thing is, Squidman is great because I've got the Squidman um, kind of advertising sign for his pit stop, which I'll be using to sort of advertise a bar, I think, in, in my city. But he doesn't look much like a squid, if you ask me. Um, and he's got a funny mouth, but I mean, that doesn't look like a squid. The squid that I'll be using looks a lot more like a squid because I'll be using the Alien Trooper from Series 13. So I'll just have this as a fun alien elsewhere. Uh, I do love the fact that he's got a cloak, so that can kind of blow in the breeze while he's running away. Uh, oh, and he's got kind of ribs on the back there. Yeah, so that's quite good. So, uh, yeah, ideas for how I can use about 10 different diverse aliens. Uh, I was kind of thinking of a sort of space police sort of prison or something like that, where they'd all be locked up behind bars because they'd all been up to no good. But I don't know if you'll be able to see them that well if they're all locked up. So, you yeah, know, there we go. Right, now I needed some blue bricks, and incredibly cheap were some stickered ones, so I'll probably just take the stickers off. In fact, that sticker's broken already, so that doesn't bother me at all, because I wanted it for the brick. So there's a blue brick. Got some more blue bricks. Now this is for the same use as the blue bricks. See, those are rubbish stickers as well. They're from a, um, what is it, an old Tiny Turbo set, a Drift Sport 8151. I'll be taking those off. So I, uh, yeah, these blue bricks are for the same blue mystery project that I got the blue bricks for last time. Remember there was some sort of curved modified bricks and so on. Uh, this will be adding to that. Uh, and indeed the main clue was one of these last time. Well, it's not much of a clue, I must admit. And I got another one and that was just for insurance really. I'm only gonna need one for my build, so I don't know if that helps you with that clue, but there we go. Still take guesses on that, but no one got anywhere near close and I don't blame you because you you just won't get it quite frankly but it will be great fun and it is a train related build that will give you a bit more of a clue so here's a fun torso of a black leather jacket which is very nice you might be able to make out just on the corner there it's a bit grubby maybe a bit rubbed off actually it would have said mutt uh, and that's because this torso was Mutt Williams's torso in the Indiana Jones uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull sets Worst film, <laughs> but some all right sets, including 7624, Jungle Duel, which has got a very cool tent. But I'll take those uh, flesh tone hands off uh, and just use it for the leather jacket. So that's nice. Uh, and I've got a couple of these sort of police helmets. They're kind of like um, ones you get American traffic cops wearing, probably on motorbikes. And that's why I've got a pair of them. So I could have Kind of like Chips. Does anyone remember Chips? Which was like a cop drama from the 80s. And you had two uh, motorcycle riding cops that went around solving crimes and so on. Uh, so I thought I might have a pair of uh, police motorcyclists doing the same thing in my city. And they came with a few sets, actually. Uh, Ninjago sets and so on. But also the uh, Lego movie Scribble Face Bad Cop as well. Ah, now there's the rest of those short legs. So I've got three more short legs in light blue. Got loads of those. I thought I'd stop buying those, but I seem to have bought loads more. They must have been a penny each or something. Transmedium blue, which are great because they glow under UV lights. That might be why I bought them, actually. Um, so they're, they're always really good fun. Uh, there. Then some pieces for more of the kind of side builds of a lot of Ultra Agent sets. So this is the front of Invisible's um, kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, sort of flying thing as part of set 70167, Invisible Gold Getaway from 2015. So that's kind of the front bit. I think I'll need to reposition that sticker as well. You probably know how I'll do that. And just looking through what I've got left. Um, 
there should be might be part of this great big bag but there's some more parts to that I think and indeed in two separate bags I've got some parts for another small Ultra Agents build this time for the goodies and these are the wings that Curtis Bolt wears as part of the 70168 Drillex diamond job I'm not going to get the big drilling machine because it's a bit too big to sort of not, you know, go somewhere uh, in my city. But um, these wings are rather beautiful. Oh, that's annoying. That one's peeling. There's another hair there. Um, yeah, I might be able to fix that, but that's a bit annoying that that one's coming up at that corner. But they're very pretty uh, to give a guy for a sort of flying suit. So that's fun. A couple of torsos. And these are Slytherin ones from Harry Potter, quite old now because they're in old light grey, I believe. So there they are, and they look, they look mostly all right. I think the bottom one's a bit brighter than the top one with the silver, but they're all right condition, I think. Uh, yep. Uh, they came in quite a few sets, including 4711, Flying Lesson. Um, and I'm using those for my uh, school, my girls' school uniform. So I'm going to have a couple of girls wearing this uniform right over the other side of the room from where that facade of the school is in the fairground. Uh, and I'm going to say they're dodging school. Very, very naughty. Kids, stay in school. Um, and uh, they're sort of at the fairground where maybe security will be chasing them or something like that. <laughs> then we've got a mixed bag, but the biggest bit being a oh, bike motorbike you can see why i was excited about this order though can't you because um there's loads and loads of really interesting parts and this is no less one of them there's some more fluff or hair or carpet or i think that's carpet at least uh, in that wheel but there we go yeah so this is a really nice bike actually this is part of the set 8896 snake canyon which is a world racer set from 2010 Seems a bit unfair, actually, because one guy's riding this bike and the other guy's got a great big bike with rockets on it on the sidecar. So that doesn't seem like a very fair competition to me. But I liked it just because eventually I do plan to do some bikers. Somebody remind, reminded me the other day that I haven't done that yet, but I'm aware of that. And I thought a biker gang, one of them would have a black flame-coloured bike with a skull on it and a number 13. But those stickers are all really good, actually. So that is very well received. Um, oh, got to try and speed this up, otherwise we'll have a super long brick haul. Another one of those. That's quite rubbed now, actually. But um, I was getting a few of these for the twin tank transporter, 4537, or my version of it, because uh, I'm going to kind of update it. It needs two of these. I think I've got one. This is the second one, and I've got a third one in another order coming. So it might be this one being rubbed off. Uh, is used elsewhere because it's probably going to be the worst one sometimes I deliberately order like I did with this blue one uh, just one too many if they're quite modestly priced because um, then at least I can use the best one if they are damaged a little bit I mean used pieces are so much cheaper than uh, new ones that essentially you know, it's not so bad when you get the odd one that's a bit damaged or a bit scratched because you can just kind of write it off. You've already saved a lot of money, so it doesn't really matter as much. If it were new, it would be, well, unacceptable, really. So there's another one of those. Uh, I won't go through all the sets that these are because they're in dozens of sets, but uh, I suppose uh, Metal Beard Duel 70807 is one of them. And I just love the use of the shark in that set on the guy's arm or the sort of mech's arm. It's uh, rather fantastic, isn't it? Then this was another cheap minifigure. I mean, all these minifigures have been either a pound or pound 50 or something like that. So they've been really good value. Uh, and this one is no exception. Didn't really need it for a little ice skating girl. In fact, I'll probably use the ice skates elsewhere, maybe as some sort of feature on, I don't know what, a building or something. Um, but I wanted it just for the torso, legs, head, hair. I can use those, no problem. So thought that was quite a good deal. Ah, oh, see, I knew there was more of these uh, robo-swap people. Here's another one. This one hasn't got the body armour, but does have the torso and head, or, or helmet rather. And they had told me that this one was damaged. And you can see there's a great big bite mark right on the middle of the face. 
but this one was about 80 pence, I think, as a, as a result of that damage, and I'm not even going to use that head, so that can, uh, well, go in the bin probably. So there's a third one of those. Oh, too many bags. Uh, a tread plate sticker. Oh, I've been looking for one of these for ages. This is one of the reasons why I picked this vendor. I mean, obviously they had loads of variety, so that's really good. A couple of big pieces I need. These uh, Merps were really cheap. Uh, loads of good minifigures, which all helps. These wonderful snap pieces. But another reason was this. It's quite simple, really. It's just uh, a panel. And I'm really happy to say that the sticker is perfect on this one. Uh, but this is uh, a piece from the Arctic Icebreaker boat, or ship rather, 60062. And that's a really wonderful set. Uh, and it needs four of these uh, panel pieces with a sticker on. Uh, and I bought a second-hand version of that set and it was missing a couple. And I think this is the last one I need. So that set is now complete. Uh, and that Icebreaker ship will actually be uh, part of my Arctic scene when I get round to that. So I can uh, show it in its full glory there. Oh yeah, here are the two bits for Invisible's um, buggy. It's kind of its wings, if you will, except, oh, that's a mistake. I've got two of the same one. Oh, actually, having said that, I think I ordered two so I could get the best one, which is clearly this one on the left. This is, what, this is a good example of why I order two of some pieces if they're really cheap. The one on the left tomorrow is better than the one on the right because I've got the two other side ones here. Ah, good. Let's see if one of these is miles better than the other. Uh, yes, I think that one's probably better than that one, isn't it? This seems to have a bit of fluff underneath the sticker and so on. So that was actually good planning by me. Yay. So I think I've got everything I need for that invisible scooter now. So I'll be able to build that. Here's another blue brick that I bought just for the brick, which is good because the sticker's falling off. You can probably work out what set they, that came from, 60117, which will be the uh, van and caravan from 2016. Now, I've already got two of these, and I wanted two more because somebody came up with a bright idea that four of these could make a really interesting um, jellyfish if they were the sort of tentacles. So I've got two more of them here. We think about four of those all underneath some great big sort of, uh, what would it be, like a dish piece or something like that, almost an umbrella piece. Um, then I think that'll look really good. And it might glow under UV light. I'm not sure. Maybe not, actually. I don't think any of these are neon colours. So anyway, really nice. This is a yellow brick that I bought just for the stickers because it's got a wonderful train logo, a bit damaged on one side and a bit damaged on the other side. I think that's salvageable though. Uh, I wanted those just for the train logos, as I say, just to uh, do on a train build. So that's good, that's fine. This is a printed piece, I think. Yep, and it's in good condition. You might think, what's that? Well, these are the eyes, and that is kind of the upper sort of lip, if you will, or jaw of uh, an anglerfish as part of the set 7771 Angler Ambush, which is an Aqua Raider set from 2007. And that's a great big sort of brick built fish that could be part of my undersea setting, but I'm not going to use that one. But I did think I'd get this for a couple of pennies because it could just be that the eyes are in a cave or something like that, looking very menacing. So you imagine a tiny sort of cave detail with that in. It might look quite spooky. That was my thought anyway. It's worth it for a few pennies, literally a few pennies. It was about 3p or something. Then I've got a great big mixed bag to end on. I'll pour that out. Got some of these. Recently I've been using these for uh, kind of train wheel axles. I don't know if this is widely done, but... I hadn't realized this and kind of worked it out for myself. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you use these underneath the sort of base of a train carriage and put the wheel axle through that, it saves you buying those really expensive uh, wheel setups. But anyway, so I've got four of those. So I've got enough for two more train carriages. Uh, and I might need these for rides as well because they, they're kind of gearboxes. So they'll change the uh, motion from a kind of that way to a kind of that way as well. Also for trains, I'm always running out of these kind of end bits because uh, they look fantastic. They're just, just absolutely perfect for the ends of train carriages, kind of like that. 
on there, and another one on the other end. So you need them in pairs. So we've got two, four, six in the yellow, and I think the yellow really works as well, kind of as a warning colour. Now this is the part that I use for my whale. That's on a set four seven no four nine four one Rascus, which was a Nestle promotion, and this dicker looks well. It's intact, it's salvageable, but I don't really want it for that. I'll probably keep it. It's got a sort of strange monkey on it, um, and I bought another one just because, really. So there it is. I might use it under the sea just as a rock, but again, it was pennies, so I thought I'd have one of those. More blue bricks without the sticker for the special project. I got some more of these in blue, these sort of shoe pieces, uh, and they were to make maybe deflated balls as part of my GBC um, factory. That's for Ultra Agents build. Got loads of these hinge pieces in dark bluish grey. Uh, and if I am to do a secret base that kind of folds out on a train, then I'm going to need lots of hinges to sort of move all the big walls or so on. Tractor just gone by outside. I don't know if you heard that. That's for Invisible's thing. And I need lots of round tiles as well. I'm not using it for the sticker that's on these. I don't even know what's set there from, but there we go. So that's that. So yeah, there we go. A couple of other pieces, random bits here and there. Bits there, or these blue ones are for, for the blue build as well. But there you go. Wow, what a haul. I think that is a really good selection. I'll just uh, change the angle a little bit there so you can see it all a bit better. Lots and lots of decorated pieces. Lots of stuff that you aren't going to see for a long time because we'll be doing the fairground before we go under the sea. Uh, some of these train pieces you'll definitely see in the intervening builds between doing the fairground because I'm not going to do that just solid. Uh, and some ones that I probably need some suggestions with, like for this green one. Uh, Maybe for the train car, I don't know. And there was definitely something else. Oh yeah, the aliens that I probably need some suggestions for. But otherwise, I think I've got all the pieces for this mystery thing, so I can do that now. Uh, and I've got loads more minifigures and uh, little parts for my Ultra Agents build. So, I'm happy. That'll keep me busy. So, some really interesting pieces there. I think you'll agree. Wonderful printed pieces as well. I just noticed that the uh, head of Captain Soto actually has this wonderful kind of uh, pigtail bit out the back. So that's really interesting as well. I've not seen that before. So uh, that's really good. Uh, and we broke some records in the dirtiest piece we've ever received. Uh, we kept up with our human hair tally. So uh, we're doing pretty well on that as well. So <laughs> all's good. Uh, so thanks very much for watching as always. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. Uh, and if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out all of the links in the description below. Uh, next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think we'll have to evaluate the vote from Monday's video as to what we're going to start with on the new end of the Lego room. Uh, and that'll guide what we're doing on both Friday and probably Monday as well. So whatever we do, I'll look forward to seeing you then. See you!